Why is Conor Ben taking steroids against Chris Eubank? Boxing is full of contests, but the upcoming bout between Conor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. is one of the few that carries as much weight as it does. In this fight is not just about two guys throwing punches, it is also about the honor of families. The weight of famous surnames and the confrontation of two dynasties that have influenced boxing in the United Kingdom for decades. The swirling intrigue that surrounds this fight is what makes it even more electrifying. Conor Ben is facing severe claims of using steroids, while Chris Eubank Jr. is fighting long-standing tensions with key promoters. Both of these charges are quite serious. When you factor in the possibility of a fight night in Saudi Arabia that could be worth many millions of dollars, the stakes are at an all-time high. A fight born from legacy. Not only is the conflict between Ben and Eubank Jr. a personal one, but also spans multiple generations. Their heated competition in the 1990s helped define an era in British boxing. Their dads, Nigel Ben and Chris Eubank Sr., were the ones who established that era. Nigel Ben, often known as the Dark Destroyer, was renowned for his explosive force on the battlefield and his unrelenting combat style. His career was characterized by powerful knockouts, victories that were gained through hard work, and a warrior mentality that garnered him a popularity that was spread over the world. Even in modern times, people continue to talk about the epic battles that Ben fought against Eubank Sr., with both of their bouts being considered to be among the most dramatic in the history of boxing. Eubank emerged victorious via technical knockout in the grueling first fight, which took place in 1990. The sequel, which took place in 1993, was a fiercely contested draw. On the other hand, Chris Eubank Sr. was renowned for his unwavering self-assurance, display of showmanship, and technical expertise. The quirky persona he exhibited outside of the ring stood in stark contrast to the clinical performances he gave inside of it. Over the course of several years, Eubank Sr. remained unbeaten, and his two world titles in the middleweight and super middleweight divisions cemented his place in the annals of British boxing history of legend. These confrontations between him and Ben were more than simply bouts, they were cultural moments that defined an age in the sport that was marked by hostility, pride, and natural passion. After a number of decades have passed, their sons are now entering the ring, carrying the weight of their father's legacy. Conor Ben has spent his entire life in the shadow of his father's famous notoriety, and he is ready to forge his own path in life. Since the minute he put on his gloves, Chris Eubank Jr. has been forced to contend with the pressure of the expectations placed upon him. This battle is not just about gaining bragging rights, it is also about leaving a legacy. Would it be possible for Ben or Eubank Jr. to emerge from the shadows cast by their dads, or will they forever be considered the offspring of legends? Steroid Allegations, Conor Ben Under Fire At the heart of this fight's controversy is the cloud of steroid accusations that continues to follow Conor Ben. In 2022, Ben failed a drug test ahead of a scheduled fight, with Chris Eubank Jr. testing positive for clomiphene, a banned substance typically used to boost testosterone levels. That fight was promptly cancelled, leaving a stain on Ben's reputation. Despite Ben's protests of innocence, the allegations have lingered and many fans now view his impressive rise in the welterweight division with skepticism. The timing of these accusations couldn't be worse. With the biggest fight of his career on the horizon, Ben's name is once again being dragged through the mud. Questions are being asked, is he ready to face a veteran like Eubank Jr. clean, or does his rise in the ranks owe more to chemistry than skill? For a fighter who comes from a family steeped in boxing pride, the allegations cut deep. Nigel Ben built his career on grit and determination, and for Connor, the steroid saga threatens to overshadow the very legacy he's trying to uphold. Steroid use in boxing is a hot-button issue, one that can destroy careers and taint legacies. If Ben cannot clear his name definitively, the repercussions could be long-lasting. As the fight nears, the question of his integrity will continue to loom large. Can he shake off the doubts and deliver a performance that silences the critics, or will this accusation forever define his career? Is Ben ready for Eubank Jr.? Even beyond the steroid accusations, may are asking, is Conor Ben ready for this fight? Ben's career has seen him rise quickly, but he's relatively inexperienced when compared to Chris Eubank Jr. Ben has 22 wins to his name, with many of those victories coming against fighters who don't match the caliber of Eubank Jr.'s past opponents. While Ben's aggressive style and powerful punches have made him a force to be reckoned with in the ring, this fight represents a significant step up in competition. Chris Eubank Jr., by contrast, has fought some of the best in the game. At 34 years old, Eubank Jr. has faced the likes of George Groves, Billy Joe Saunders, and James DeGale, building a resume that far outstrips Ben's. He has fought in high-pressure situations, tasted defeat, and bounced back. His resilience is unquestionable, and his ability to weather storms in the ring makes him a dangerous opponent for the less-tested Ben. 
For Ben, this fight isn't just about winning, it's about proving he belongs on this level. But is it too soon for him? Some critics argue that Ben should have taken more time to develop, fighting more seasoned opponents before taking on a battle-tested fighter like Eubank Jr. A loss here could be devastating. Not just for his record, but for his reputation, especially with the steroid cloud hanging over him. Chris Eubank Jr. and the promoter Wars, Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren feuds. Adding to the intrigue is the tension between Chris Eubank Jr. and two of Britain's biggest boxing promoters, Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren. Eubank Jr. has had a tumultuous relationship with both men, often feeling sidelined or disrespected. His frustration with Hearn is well documented as Eubank Jr. has often accused the promoter of not delivering on big fight promises and failing to give him the same level of support as other fighters in his stable, like Anthony Joshua and Canelo Alvarez. Eubank Jr. has similarly had run-ins with Frank Warren, who, along with Hearn, controls much of the British boxing landscape. Feeling that neither promoter had his best interest at heart, Eubank Jr. has looked for opportunities outside of the UK, including major fights in the US and Saudi Arabia. His split from these powerful promoters adds an extra layer of intrigue to the Ben fight, as it suggests that Eubank Jr. is looking to forge his own path outside the traditional power structures of British boxing. This independent approach has allowed Eubank Jr. to keep control of his career, but has also limited some of his promotional backing. Nevertheless, he remains a formidable force in the ring, with or without the support of Hearn or Warren. Saudi Arabia's role, a mega payday courtesy of Turkey Alaushik. The growing influence of Saudi Arabia in the boxing world cannot be ignored. Conor Ben's recent appearance in Saudi Arabia, jumping into the ring after a high-profile fight, suggests that the Middle East could be the venue for his clash with Eubank Jr. Turkey Alaushik. A key player in Saudi sports promotion is reportedly looking to host the fight, setting the stage for a massive payday for both men. Saudi Arabia has quickly become a boxing hotspot, hosting some of the biggest fights in recent years including Anthony Joshua's rematch with Andy Ruiz and the upcoming Tyson Fury vs. Oleksandr Yusik bout. The financial incentives to fight in Saudi Arabia are enormous, and both Ben and Eubank Jr. stand to make more money than they would in the UK. For Ben, fighting in a venue far removed from the steroid controversy could be seen as an opportunity for a fresh start. Turkey Alalshik's involvement signals that this fight is about more than just family legacy, it's about big business. The fight could draw massive global attention, particularly given the history between the two fighters' fathers and the cloud of controversy surrounding Ben. A showdown in Saudi Arabia would cement this bout as one of the most significant events in modern boxing, a true spectacle on the global stage. Conclusion Legacy versus Controversy, Who Will Prevail? As the fight between Conor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. approaches, the stakes couldn't be higher. This isn't just a contest of skill and power, it's a battle of legacies wrapped in controversy and fueled by the ghosts of past rivalries. For Ben, the steroid allegations threaten to define his career before it has even reached its peak. For Eubank Jr., the fight represents a chance to cement his own name and history, away from his father's shadow and the baggage of his promoter disputes. With Saudi Arabia potentially hosting the fight, the stage is set for a showdown that could redefine both men's careers. Legacy, pride, and millions of dollars are all on the line. But as the bell rings, only one question remains. Which son of a legend will emerge as his own man, and which will fall under the weight of expectation? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.